So now that we've tried it, uh, neat, that means it, it's about time to move on to a uh, one of the cocktails. Uh, yeah. Do we, um, want, do we want to start fancy or are we going to start a little bit more casual? Well, you know, I was, you say, you say fancy and you say casual. Mm -hmm. And when I first saw whiskey ginger, I was like, oh man, I've been drinking a whole lot of horse feathers lately. <laughs> and it's got ginger and I've been loving the ever loving fuck out of it. But then you said more casual. So I'm thinking more casual means more simple. And more simple means more casual. <laughs> so I think that's the way it, it needs to go. Start. Before, before we get all uppity on each other and our pinkies <laughs> raised, I think I think that's how Dime Pack would want it. Well, we, we've got. He wants uh, us to use the kiss principle. He loved kiss. Yes. So keep it simple, stupid. Let, let's right. do the casual. All right. So does that mean it's the Ward Eight? No, we're gonna start with the uh, the whiskey ginger. Get the fuck out. Yeah. No. Oh. All right. Whiskey all right. ginger. We've got two ingredients. I see three. Oh, I guess there's three. Yeah, three ingredients and we're gonna start with our uh cocktail glasses our, our rocks glasses okay so this is yeah a, a whiskey ginger is is real simple it's uh rye rye whiskey ginger ale uh, express a little bit of lime just right there on top and then garnish it with a lime wedge sounds good to call me call it good sounds really good yeah and what and, did you say the whiskey highball initially combined scotch with soda water called scotch and soda often served with soda water but ginger ale is a common substitute huh. and, and i'm also excited so for this one i think with with this kind of a drink i think you could get away with just doing regular ice in your uh in your your rocks class yeah but i'm gonna use this as an opportunity to share and try out my new round sphere okay. ice molds okay we're gonna do a single large sphere as long as as long as there's room in the cocktail glass for the rest of it well and that, that's why i'm using my 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 newer double glasses so okay to make sure Perfect. we have plenty Perfect. of room <laughs> so all right yeah well, go get, get their stuff, stuff together and, and go go put it together let's do it so you said with headphones the the r goes on the right side <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Is that how that goes? R is for right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, 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 right. So the uh, marvelous W2 ran out of the room, and he came back with uh, with very necessary supplies to uh, to make this uh, the, the whiskey ginger cocktail featuring this, uh, this, uh, this fairly tasty Black Tooth American rye whiskey. And uh, what all did you put in there? So this whiskey ginger is very, very simple. We've got two ounces of rye whiskey, mm -hmm. three ounces of ginger ale, mixed together in the in the rocks glass, express a little bit of lime on mm -hmm. top of it, and then garnish with a lime wedge on top. Yeah, and when he says ex expressed a, a little bit, it was like a, a quarter of a wedge, mm -hmm. and it didn't take much, and uh, ready to give this a try. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. It's simple. That's nice. It's yeah. tasty. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a very uh, a light and refreshing um, summer drink. Yeah. You use My. ginger ale instead of ginger beer. Yes. Which is, I think, yeah, that's what the recipe called for. And we don't really know the difference between yeah. ginger ale and ginger beer. Yeah, I need to look that up. It's it's actually the same brand as uh, some of the ginger beer that I've been getting. Yeah, it's the Reeds. Uh, the Reeds. I love their uh, extra spicy yes ginger beer and so I, that's what i've been using for my horse feathers yeah, I, I love it and so when i saw the reeds ginger ale mm -hmm. i was like well i i just Gotta can't go similar can't go wrong with that so my first taste on this is very refreshing very good mm -hmm. going with an 80 proof rye there's a lot more latitude i think we could you know we use two ounces of of this rye mm -hmm. i think this could easily have two and a half ounces of rye and still yeah. be Pretty fantastic. Yeah, and or maybe do half and half. And instead of do instead of doing three ounces ginger ale, it could be mm -hmm. two ounces rye, two ounces ginger yeah, ale. Yeah, two and two. You know, and then part of me wants to splash it with the Angostura uh, mm. uh, bitters, <laughs> and which brings it more into horse feather territory. <laughs> but it's it's not. Yeah, this is good. I know we're already into uh, approaching the end of summer, but yeah, I feel like we're 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 finding our summer drinks. <laughs> right. <laughs> And you know when when the winter months come, and all we do is we we miss the uh, the sting of the sun on our skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know when we walk out 
on our lunch break going somewhere and it's like fuck it's fucking hot and never happy it, never happy <laughs> when we miss it we can always come home and we just mix up this um, this whiskey ginger and uh, I bet this would be good uh, with your uh, smoker kit oh if you found a way to smoke the ice goodness or, or smoke yes the, smoke the glass I guess and then and then freeze it I'm not sure because because we went up to the freezer and you had your your ice maker box and mm-hmm. you had your uh, uh, the the glasses were frozen already which you know don't be a poop freezer coop what, what does you say when it comes to these glasses show some class freeze, freeze your glass, glass. Uh, there we go <laughs> and and who were we talking about oh uh, we're talking about the thirsty, thirsty whale thirsty whale thirsty whale yeah, yeah. yeah he he is easily one of my favorite uh, follows that I've mm-hmm. got on Instagram he I, he makes great drinks and he, he and, makes great and he, content. And, and, and he's, he's fun. He's fun to watch, fun to listen to. Yeah. He's not. He's serious, but he's not serious at all. Right. Uh, you know. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. He 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 drives home the right points, mm-hmm. but he does it in a way that you know you don't feel. He doesn't call you out. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of getting called un- out, unless you're using Rose's grenadine, right. then, then then he might call you. He won't just call you out. He'll call you onto the mat and wipe your ass with it. And, and speaking of getting called out, uh, we we talked about uh, the dear listener drinking game. Yes. And yes. So uh, Carlo, he said uh, uh, last uh, last time we had band practice, he, <laughs> he he said, guys, you have got to stop saying dear listener over and over and over again. Like we have a drinking game now. Every time you say drink, uh, dear listener, we take a shot or, or we, we we take a drink or whatever it is that they're, that they're drinking. Probably that sex in a canoe beer. <laughs> Ooh, sick burn. But yeah, he's. It, it was pretty funny when he said that. I was like, fuck, do I say that a lot? And so I go back to listen to it. And I'm like, I do say that a lot. <laughs> wow. So, right. dear listener, and <laughs> I hope you're enjoying yourself. Definitely uh, don't drive yourself home. But we're considerate. We're driving the point home. We're considerate of we our are. listeners. Yeah. Our dear, dear listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All you yeah. did is you added whiskey and the ice to the glass, stirred it up a little bit, topped with some ginger ale, squeezed some lime. And, you know. You j- garnished with a lime wedge with these uh, uh, skull skewers. and I felt that it was appropriate. Yeah, and it, it goes great. It looks great on uh, on camera. You guys will see that on the socials. So we have a rating. So uh, it, I, so we. I almost we forgot to... we are rating cocktails also. <laughs> it's a, it's a new thing. It's a new stupid s- whiskey. Stupid whiskey making me forget <laughs> the ratings. Yeah. So so we've uh, we we started up this new new to us anyway uh, rating system where we um, we 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 rate on on four different aspects of it we got the nose the palate the finish and the presentation now when the marvelous w2 comes in and uh he he works on his presentation I, i'm hard pressed to label it anything under a five because <laughs> it always it always looks great it always looks like if it's sitting on the table yeah i'll take it so that's that's a five i guess for me and the uh, the glasses uh, themselves are cool the the sphere ice the super clear ice was cool uh, the lime didn't have the uh, the brown spots on it like some of the limes you find at Walmart. <laughs> mm-hmm. So those look cool. <laughs> I actually it's got the skull skewer. I actually cool. just I just picked up the lime today, so okay, I, I was okay. able to pick out the greenest, uh-huh. most consistent color uh-huh. lime I could find at Target. And I think we talked about this in a previous episode somewhere. But limes, when they're fully ripened, they are they turn yellow. Yeah. So it, even if it did have some yellow on it, I'm not going to freak out. So I have one. It's interesting that you say that. I have one lime in the in the fridge right now that looks like a lemon trying to be a lime because it's, <laughs> it is it is almost all yellow it's, now. It's with a few like, little, don't be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it it doesn't feel mushy or anything. I think it's still mm-hmm. fine. But but yeah, I was like I, when I I first picked it up as you know we were, did our grocery shopping on Sunday and and uh, doing inventory and doing kind of a, a little cleaning yeah. of uh, you know clean out the the things that are definitely gone bad and uh, and I and I first picked it up thinking you know this is an ugly lemon <laughs> and then I'm like wait a minute this is definitely a lime. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot more yellow these days. Yeah. Yep. Don't be upset with it. Don't give it the stink <laughs> yep, eyes. Just yep. roll with it because it's just it's a little more ripe, and that's a good thing. So I see you over there doing your math. No, you finished your math. I finished my math. You finished your math. All right. So let's get into it here. On nose, I gave it a three. 
Okay. It smelled good. It's average, a little bit above average, just because it's uh, it's got a little bit above average ingredients. No. And that's probably why it smelled good to me. I, I probably gave this one a little bit higher than I should have. I gave it a Uh-oh. four. A yeah, four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I. Your it, nose is different from my nose. Yeah. And our noses are different from the dear listeners' well, and, nose. And, so. and, and, and that's what's interesting is because by the time we've made it into a cocktail, we're not spending as much time on our nose Definitely as not. we are when we're still trying it neat. Yeah. On the palate, I gave it a three because it's, you know, it's average, but it's a little bit okay. better than average, so it's good to me. I like it. Man, we're inverse day right oh, now. Oh, shit. I gave it four and three quarter. Just because it it's it's so damn refreshing. It, it is it's, refreshing. It's simple, and that's the other thing that I I think I kind of took into account on all the categories mm-hmm. uh, here. Not not just presentation, but everything about it is. It's aside from the very minimum lime element to it. It's a two ingredient cocktail. Yeah, it, it's it's as straightforward as you can really get. Mm-hmm. And there's something kind of nice about that. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes it easy, quick and easy to make. It, it's quick and easy, and and it's, it's just so damn refreshing. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's great. So yeah, I, I gave it a four and three quarters. Yeah, had it been a ginger beer, uh, the the Reed's ginger beer, mm-hmm. like in in the bottle that that uh, we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Uh, I mean that probably would have brought up brought my three up. The obvious difference is, you know, your ginger ale is clear, so it did not have any effect on the color. And and also your ginger beer is a lot more concentrated. There's definitely a lot more flavor in there. I, th- I think this, using a ginger beer, would vastly change it into something completely different. So I just uh, fired up the Google machine. Yes, sir. To see what it is. Because anytime I, I have a, a, a question about something I don't understand, you know, it's great to have a website to go to. And that, uh, if, for, for you, dear listener, google.com. Check it out. Uh, it's all in the production, how it comes together. Okay. Uh, ginger beer versus uh, ginger ale. Production. Uh, ginger beer is made by fermenting fresh ginger and sugar, while ginger ale is either fermented with whey or made by mixing soda water or club soda with artificial or real ginger syrup. Okay. So the flavor you get, ginger beer has a stronger flavor, smell, and spice than ginger ale, mm-hmm. and ginger ale tends to taste more syrupy. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to that ginger beer that we both love by Reeds, mm-hmm. that I guess that's why it's so much so so much sharper. Yeah. You know, I, which may actually take over this particular rye. I, I think I think it would absolutely. Yeah. This, yeah. Uh, the Black Tooth American Rye whiskey. Uh, it may not let it shine. It, this All might right. not be the right whiskey for it. Something like that High West Double Rye mm-hmm. might be perfect for it, or the Knob Creek Rye might be perfect for it. But still, uh, this this was this was pretty good. So anyway, so uh, that was palate. Uh, I gave it a three. You gave it a four and three quarter. Finish three and a half. Three and a half, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So wh- you know, how, and, what and, brought and, you to the three and a half? And again, that was also another one. When I'm dealing with a cocktail, part of me feels like palette and presentation are, are really the only two real viable categories because yeah, I when I'm when I'm drinking a cocktail, I'm not thinking about the nose unless it's a very very fruity or some very specific kind of a cocktail yeah. that's going to have whatever that quality is. And finish is something too that don't really think a whole lot about on cocktails. However, something like this, it is so so refreshing that the finish is just gone and you're ready for the next one. That's why I gave it a 2. Okay. okay. That's why I gave it a 2. It didn't exactly wow me mm-hmm. and it wasn't exactly underwhelming, but like you said, it was it was there, and then uh, the the on the palate it was there, and then when the finish came, it was it was already gone. It already packed its bag yeah. and fucking took off. <laughs> it's yep, like yep. fucking one night stand kind of thing. It's just like you know, I'm out, I'm out. Don't call me, <laughs> you know. And so like you're just like you're you're left you know satisfied, but you're ready for the next, ready for the next pull. And you gave that a what? Three and a half. Three and a half. How about presentation? I gave it a five. I gave it, you know, I... Here we go. I'm, I'm mixing them, so I will probably never give myself a five on, on presentation. But you will give it... But I gave it a four and a quarter. A four and a quarter? Okay. All right. All right. It, it, it's you simple. Know, we are our own worst critics. It's simple and elegant. And it is. And I very deliberately used the Skull Little. Skewer skewer Picks, used our, our new crystal clear balls. The spheres, yeah. The, the sp- balls. Ice, ice balls. Sphere. And then the new... Icy rock- balls. The new, <laughs> the new Rocks Glasses. Yeah. That uh, was, was a, 
another great inexpensive Amazon find. They're 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 great. They've they've got some nice facets in the glass that make them look. When you look down into it, the uh, the clear ice spheres. Now I see why you say ice balls. It's easier to say clear ice balls or clear ice spheres. (laughs) <laughs> some of those words just kind of run together, but um, it looks it looks better presentation wise. Yeah. Uh, when the uh, you get a little bit of a starburst kind of a yeah. look to it. Yeah, visually refracts in a in a pleasant way. So you gave it a what a four four and a quarter. Okay. So that right. that that averaged me out to an eight point two five. Well, all right, all right. I rated it lower at at six point five. All right. Totaled. So I mean, you gave it a four on the nose. I gave it a three. You gave it a four and three quarter on the palette. I gave it a three. Three and a half on finish. I gave it a two. Four and four and a quarter on uh, presentation. I gave it a five. Presentation was top notch. So I wrote uh, uh, a little something here, and you can always you know tell me if it's yay, nay, or fucking rewrite the whole thing black tooth rye whiskey ginger it's a light simple and refreshing cocktail perfect for summer or anytime with friends and family i like it 